the days are getting hotter and sunnier as we get closer to summertime, and that means it is time to step up that makeup routine. That's right. Local makeup artist and owner of Studio M in Spartanburg, Natalie Marzuka, stopped by to share some tips. All right, Natalie, well, you know, as the sun comes out, it gets higher in the sky, temperatures heat up, we need the sunscreen. So yes. how mm -hmm. important is it, though, to combine that with our makeup? Definitely mm -hmm. important. They're now saying that SPF 15 is not enough, that you mm -hmm. now need a minimum of SPF 30 oh, underneath okay. your makeup. Because a lot of my clients, they think that the sunscreen that's incorporated in their foundations is enough, and they realize that it's not enough anymore. Because when you're putting on your foundation, if some of us are in a hurry, they may not be applying it evenly, they may mm -hmm. be in a rush, they may be missing some spots, it may fade throughout the day. So an SPF mm -hmm. of 30 minimum is definitely needed. Okay, so minimum of SPF 30. So if you have that, do you need it in your makeup as well? Think of it, think of the sunscreen in your makeup as an added bonus. Don't rely on the sunscreen in your makeup is what okay. dermatologists are saying, especially in the hot summer months, especially if you're spending your whole day outdoors, definitely have that sunscreen. And the three ingredients you wanna look for when you're shopping for sunscreen is uh, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, and avabenzone. Those are the three things that you really wanna focus on when you're reading the labels on the, the bottle of sunscreen that you're buying. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was gonna say, what about skin type? You know, I burn really easily having this, you know, really very white right. skin. Sabila, yeah. you may not burn mm -hmm. as easily, but I mm -hmm. guess it can still do damage, right? If oh not. yeah, definitely. Yeah. No matter you know what your skin type, you always want to make sure that you're protecting it. And definitely, when you're shopping for sunscreen, you know, just read the labels. Make sure it says non-comedogenic. Just make sure that you're getting the right sunscreen for you. There's so many different things out on the market. Even if you're wearing your makeup and you don't want to apply a physical sunscreen all day, there's now SPF in powders mm -hmm. that you can touch your makeup with throughout the day or even oh. like setting sprays okay. so you can like finish off your makeup with a coating of SPF yeah. so it actually protects your face that way you're not messing up your makeup throughout the day. Yeah and that's one of the biggest complaints of people that do use the SPF um, before putting it on makeup because it leaves kind of like a sheen on your face almost like um, ultraviolet you know. Exactly yeah. exactly you want to make sure that you get a sunscreen that's like invisible on the skin so mm -hmm. it doesn't leave like that white yeah. ashy cast yeah, on the skin yeah, yeah. or it doesn't affect the appearance mm -hmm. of your makeup so one that really just kind of is almost a clear invisible sunscreen nothing that has like that white mm -hmm. cast that melts into the skin yeah you talk to people all day long about makeup do you yeah. get the idea that they don't want to mess with sunscreen because they're afraid of you know how it will interact with whatever makeup they use exactly yeah a lot of people think oh you know I can just skip it or I can just go with whatever's in my BB cream or whatever's in my CC CC cream but mm -hmm. it's super important to protect your skin because the one thing I can't stress enough if you don't have good skin you can't have good makeup mm -hmm. so it's really important to protect your skin make mm -hmm. sure because that's the most important thing. One thing I wanted to ask you, um, we get in really early, so by four o'clock, we're already putting that SPF before. So right. by the time we're out, it's sort of like 11 o'clock. Do we have to put more SPF on? They're saying that you want to reapply. If you're going to be out in the sun all day, reapply every two to three hours. But of course, uh, if you already have your makeup on, you don't want to mess yes, up what's already right, on. Right. So that's where like the setting mineral veil powders with SPF kind of come in handy. So uh, you can kind of keep that on you, keep a little brush handy, mm -hmm. dust them on, or maybe even the setting spray. Yeah. That way you're not disturbing what you've so worked on all what morning. The, is this what does that have the, as well? This one does not have SPF. This is actually mm -hmm. a bronzer. I was just going to talk to you guys a little mm -hmm. bit about oh, kind of yeah, like how yeah. to bronze the complexion. So I kind of like how to like fake the bronze mm -hmm. look even if you don't have you know um, yeah. tan skin a lot like of my me. yeah <laughs> a lot of my clients you know they try not to tan their face so yeah. I always mm -hmm. tell my clients you know at least just use a powder bronzer in the meantime and you know use a large fluffy brush and my little trick is I always say the figure three around the face oh. bronze the hairline cheekbone and jawline oh, so you've okay. essentially done a figure okay. three okay. around okay. the yeah. face and you've done that and then you do that on the other side and that's a perfect way to bronze your complexion for the summertime so <laughs> you're good to go Three. Figure three, three or the letter okay. E, whatever works for you. You need to figure out a 62 or a 7, right? <laughs> yes, there we go. We should do that. Right? All right. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much. And you know what? Using a bronzer is so much better than just being out in the sun. Exactly. Because, hey, just stay ladies, it. we want to stay young and Still we want to be, be wrinkle free. Well. Mm -hmm. right. Exactly. Cancer free too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, That's exactly. important. Right. Thanks, Natalie. Thank you.